Hello and welcome to my little video. I'm going to explain quickly um, some things about the infrastructure team. So I have um, had an internship with the team for about two to three months. I spent 20% of my weekly time with the infrastructure team. I attended incidents, I uh, learned a lot of things that are not written anywhere. They are uh, sort of the um, code of dealing with the infrastructure team and it's basically information that you wouldn't really understand or know unless you really interact with the team for a little bit of time. At some point in time, which I'm not sure exactly when, uh, they decided to um, divide the team into three sub-teams according to the functionality that they do. So, or the specialization, you could say. Uh, so we've got the scalability team, the reliability team, and the delivery team. So each of these teams have different responsibilities, different focus, different key KPIs, uh, key performance indicators, and um, they work very closely together to achieve the same thing, which is keeping GitLab.com up and available 24-7 every day of the year. Let's talk about what each of these teams do. The reliability team is, can be considered the core of the infrastructure, bigger team. And the reason is because they have the responsibility of actually taking care of the infrastructure that GetLab.com runs on top of. Uh, they need to... Um, make sure all the services are up and running, all the pods are up. Um, they need to make sure that um, all the configurations are consistent among all of the services and the different pods and servers. They also need to make sure that um, when there is a deployment going on, there is nothing blocking that deployment from the infrastructure side of things. So. You know, when there's a deployment, it could be blocked by either misconfiguration, maybe in the code, maybe something on the code side of things, which is the infrastructure team shouldn't really be handling that particular problem, like the developers should take care of that. We also get to who is responsible for coordinating that. But the core infrastructure team, which is the, the reliability team, is responsible for the infrastructure side of things more than anything else. And they are also participating in an um, on-call rotation, which is um, the other sub-teams, the scalability and the delivery, don't really participate in that on-call. It doesn't mean that they don't attend the incident calls when there is something urgent. Actually, in fact, I've always found someone from the delivery team in the incident room. Like It's, it's like a standard thing. It's like they're always there. Sometimes it feels like even if they're not really affected as a delivery sub-team, they're still attending and helping and, and they're always there as if they're on call, you know. So um, they're not officially participating, but they're heavily involved on the on-call rotation. Um, so that's the reliability team. Um, oh, by the way, the reliability team is divided into three sub-teams as well, according to their different focus and functionalities. But we're not going to talk about that for the moment. Let's just focus on the next team, which is the delivery team. So um, the delivery team is responsible for delivering the releases every month for GetLab.com. So they coordinate all the functionalities that are going to come out. Um, everything between the developers and the infrastructure team, I think, goes through the delivery team. 
they mostly coordinate that that part. Um, they're responsible uh, for making sure that our pipelines that actually do the deployments run successfully. So they are the ones that write the pipeline configurations, the CI, CD, YAML files, um, and any other configurations that are important for the release to happen to make it to the staging and then to make it to the production, the pre-production and then to, to the production. So, um, and they're also responsible for migrating um, some of our instances that are running on an older infrastructure to a newer infrastructure, which I find quite, 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 quite interesting topic. So, um, if you're about, if if you're interested about Kubernetes and you maybe have some experience or want to get more experience uh, about Kubernetes, the delivery team is where you want to uh, look at. You want to look at their work because they are the ones that um, are doing the migration from the older infrastructure to the newer infrastructure, which is based on Kubernetes. So that is uh, one thing to know about the delivery team. Um, and then you've got the scalability team. Um, they are very experienced people. <laughs> well, you can tell from that sentence that I haven't really dealt heavily with them during my internship. And I, I think the reason is because they are working more as sync they're not as involved in the incidents um, as the delivery and the reliability teams. That's what I've noticed from the few incidents that I've attended. So I might be wrong, but that's my observation. I think they're more focused on strategically planning how GitLab.com is going to accommodate all the future users that are going to be using GitLab.com. So they have this focus on bigger infrastructures and how and i think also it's not it's not just about the infrastructure side of things things that they're planning i think it's also more about the code side of things so they're also planning how the code is going to scale as gitlab.com is scaling so it's not just the infrastructure actually it's, it's more about the code uh, the database and, and other parts um, of the services that work together to eventually grow um, as fast as, as the company is growing. Uh, so that is the scalability team. So these are the three sub teams of GitLab, of, of um, the infrastructure team at GitLab. Um, so in another video, I'm going to be talking about um, details regarding each of these teams. Uh, I haven't really thought about what details I'm going to talk about yet, but I do have some things that might be interesting to say about each of these teams. So I'm going to make three videos for each of the teams. I think I might not actually do it for each of the teams. I'm, I think I might skip it for the scalability team, given that I don't really have much of experience with them. So I guess it's going to be just the delivery and the reliability, which is interesting because they have sub teams as i mentioned earlier so yeah stay tuned for another video thank you for watching